Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And to be a little more precise, because a lot of people have seen the web page but don't understand how to download the image or the ISO of Windows 10. So if you want to download Windows 10, okay, first, um, it's it's free. You can download Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 isn't free, technically. You got to pay for a license, unless you might have had the um, the license um, for free at some point, then you're okay. You're still staying free. Now you can actually try it, and that's something also that you can uh, find interesting. If you aren't sure if you want to, you know, go to Windows 10 or not, you can try it because with this, if you have no key, you'll actually have the possibility of testing it for a few weeks before it starts not working well because you don't have a key. So where do you download Windows 10 exactly? Well. This web page is in the description below the video, so just click the link. And you will need to click Download Tool Now on that page. You want to run the Media Creation Tool, and it says here, Media Creation Tool 1903. Click Run. In here, you will have, of course, the Media Creation Tool. Kind of do a few checks uh, before it's actually going to run and, and, and work to uh, let you do what you want. So it says here, getting a few things ready. It's going to verify some of the stuff of your computer a little bit to see if it can run well or run OK. So, of course, you just hang on to the time it takes for all of this to happen. On some PCs, it's longer than others. So remember that this could be a little long on some older computers and uh, could be very fast on you know more modern PCs. Once the uh, few things that are ready get ready, <laughs> you will have um, options that are upgrading to your existing you know, Windows into the latest version, which means you don't have to download Windows 10 technically because it will actually uh, work like that. Of course, you got to accept the license. And, uh, and once that is done, uh, like I said, you have the upgrade process available. But here, you also have the possibility to download an image. Uh, in the image is what uh, basically contains all of the install files for Windows 10. To um, have it on a USB thumb drive, or you can burn it to a DVD, and this will, of course, give you the possibility to boot from Windows 10 and actually install it. I actually recommend anybody that has the uh, Windows 10 May 2019 update to actually update your media with the new version. Create yourself a DVD or USB thumb drive. So you choose the option Create Installation Media and click Next. You are on Windows 10, it will automatically choose the correct version. So here it's going to tell me English, Windows 10, 64 bits. But you can actually remove the check mark and choose a more specific version of the operating system that you might want to have in a different language. So depending on what you want, you choose which version. If you are downloading Windows 10 um, and wonder, well, you know, it just says Windows, Windows 10, where do I download the pro version or the uh, enterprise version or the home version? That is when you install it that it will ask you. It's all integrated in the same image. At the install, you'll be asked what version you want to have. So once that is done, click Next. It's going to tell you, do you want to um, create a USB flash drive? Or in our case here, we want to do an ISO file. You'll need to burn the ISO to a DVD later, or you can use a tool like Rufus also to uh, have a bootable USB thumb drive. <clears throat> click Next. And it's going to ask you where you want to download it. So here it says File Name Windows, File Type, ISO. I recommend wherever you're going to download it, it just says Windows. Give it a longer name if you wish to kind of know what version it is. Typically what I do is file name, Windows, May 2019 update. I'll give it its full name so I know that this image is the latest image for Windows. And I click Save. From here, it's going to actually download from the web the latest image. So you'll see the progress here. This progress might actually go twice, 
One reason behind this is that it's going to download the files and after the files are downloaded, it's going to do a check to make sure that the file integrity is okay so that the image is downloaded correctly. And once that is done, you'll have the image on your, on your computer. Just remember what folder you downloaded automatically to when was documents and remember what name you actually gave it or if you didn't change the name it's going to be called windows.iso if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching